Welcome back, everybody, to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm with Rebecca Abrams, who is a local face that you've probably uh, seen around. And she's a good friend of mine here in Park City, a, a new recent good friend. Yes. We've had the opportunity to host uh, some things together in the area. And yes. she's also, believe it or not, and I didn't know this until talking to her a couple weeks ago, a personal chef. So I was like, well, hello, friend. <laughs> Hi. You should uh, come over to my house. So. We should have practiced first at your house. I probably think we should do that again. <sighs> next time, next time. No worries. We've already got stuff going on in the oven. It smells really, really Thank good. Thank you. So while you're telling us about your business, let's start cooking because we got lots okay. of stuff. Okay. I'm going to make enchilada pie. And the first thing I'm going to show you to make is um, enchilada sauce, which is really easy to make at home. Chefs People are so that. intimidated. That's, like the, that's the line they always say. It's really easy. It's so easy. All I'm going to do is take a couple of onions. This is about three onions, and I just okay. chopped them up. You don't have to get any, all fancy and make them all the same size or anything like that because they're just going to get ground up okay. in the blender afterwards. So I'm going to saute up three onions, a okay. couple of cloves of garlic, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to let that all soften up. And once it gets all softened up, I'm going to make the base for my enchilada sauce. This is a little bit of stock I have. Okay. This is chicken stock. You can use vegetarian vegetable stock. Um, you could use meat stock if you really want to. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely prefer chicken stock. I think it has a nice f flavor to it and it also has a little bit of salt in it so you don't have to salt any further. You just mm -hmm. salt to taste. I'm with you. I prefer the chicken as well. So, so I'm going to get this. I'm going to saute it until the onions are kind of translucent, which is what they mean when they say, please saute until soft. So I've go. got my gar Learn garlic and my onion. onions, and that's okay. going to get really nice and fragrant. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a tablespoon of flour. And once I add the tablespoon of flour, everything is going to start to kind of get a little bit dry, mm -hmm. which is good. And we're just going to saute that a little bit more. And then I'm going to add some tomato paste. And tomato paste is really, the tomato paste and the onions are really what the base of an enchilada sauce are. And you get those cooked down nice and everything kind of gets thick. So once everything starts to get kind of thick and pasty. So you want it thick and dry and pasty. Yep, That's what we're going for. Exactly. Because what's happening is I'm sauteing all this and I'm bringing out the flavor of the tomatoes mm -hmm. and I'm cooking the flour a little bit so that it doesn't taste kind of floury when you're eating it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of so stock just to get this going. As I said that, dry and uh, yeah, that's Those aren't pasty. the words you really want to hear. No, the director they? in my ear goes, is that what you look for in your man? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was laughing. Not in Park City. We don't have dry pasting men in Park City. Oh, we don't? No. We have, All right, we have let's find them. Tan men in Park City <laughs> and physical. Tan, entertaining. Muscly, burly men. Listen to this. Apparently, <laughs> Rebecca will help you find a man as well. Oh, I wish I could. I have lots of lovely, lovely friends that would love for that to happen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's a matchmaker on top of being a personal chef. So what I did is I just added some cumin, about a teaspoon of cumin, a Get teaspoon, mm -hmm, and a teaspoon of paprika, two kinds of paprika. I added a smoky paprika and a regular paprika. Okay. And then um, a teaspoon of, uh, or three chipotles and adobo. Now you buy a little can of these and oh, you wow, never you use the whole that. can. I know, they are strong Ooh. and they're, they're spicy. So if you don't want Ooh. hot and spicy, <laughs> skip the chili powder, which I also okay. added about a teaspoon of, and skip the chipotles and adobo. If okay. you want a kick to it, Chipotle's in adobo, the adobo is a sauce, and it's an awesome way to get like a smoky, spicy flavor to anything that you're making. Mexican, I've added it to all kinds of fusion things, any kind of new American. Okay. Meatloaf. Good really? Meatloaf, yeah. Huh. So, Give it a um, spicy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I'm going to add those, and I'm wow, going to saute. That is strong. It is. It's nice, isn't it? Wow. It's smoky. Can oh, you smell yeah, that? Yeah, like, no, it's, it definitely It smells is. like it's been roasting on a fire all day. So, so and you can see... I've got everything's kind of starting to saute up now. And then, um, and don't worry about chunkiness because you're going to either, um, I'm going to use my hand blender to mix it, or you can use your blender, just your regular okay. home kitchen blender. So okay. the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add about four cups of kitchen uh, chicken stock. Okay. And you can find this all on my website. I put the recipe up last night for oh, today. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. So Let's pop up her website. Uh, you can go to... Chef Rebecca. ChefRebecca.com. Right? ChefRebecca.com. And uh, this recipe will be there for you. Thanks for putting that up. Yeah, so. absolutely. So, um, so now you're just going to give the enchilada sauce a little bit of a stir. 
And I'm gonna let it sit for, I like to let it sit for about 30 minutes. Okay. Um, if I have time, I'll let it sit even longer because it just gets more and more flavor. And what you're gonna wanna do is, once this comes to kind of a little bit of a boil, you'll turn it down to a medium to low heat and just let it simmer because what's gonna happen is the flour is gonna cause it to thicken. So you're gonna get kind of thick sauce, not thick like a, a cream sauce, but a little bit thicker than just a liquidy sauce. That adobo gives it a different smell than what you'd normally smell, and sometimes, sometimes an enchilada pie, and I like it. It's, it's just, just a, a little bit of a switch for you, just to give it a little bit yeah. more oomph, because sometimes yeah. enchiladas are boring. And I want my enchiladas to have a little kick. Just like she wants her man. Yeah, exactly. Right? Just like she wants her man. Uh, my husband might be watching. I think he's pretty exciting. Like a dope sauce. Is he up sauce. this early? He said he was going to get up. Good for you, <laughs> hubby. Thanks for watching. We'll see. All right, so we've got this So done. we've got this all done. Okay. And what you're going to do is at the very end, you're going to um, put it either in your home blender or your hand mixer. Right. Okay. And my hand mixer is my favorite tool in the kitchen because you can go just like this. And literally, I don't even have to take this off the stove. Oh, that's easy. And I'm blending this. And it's so nice. It's definitely, this was... It's is my number one go-to kitchen tool. Yeah, can't live without it. So you can mix that up, stir, and it all of a sudden you've got like a, a thin, a creamy-ish consistency creamy that you didn't. Yeah, it's not creamy for. with dairy. It's creamy because I've ground up all the onion and the flour, Everything and it's else. made it thick. Uh -huh. So and the tomato paste helps also. Okay. So, so then. You've got your enchilada sauce. Now you can buy jarred enchilada, enchilada sauce to make this. I mean, the, the idea behind this is to make a quick, easy dinner. It's healthy. It gets your everybody to the table to sit down and eat together, even if it's only half hour. I mean, we ate together almost every night when I was a kid. Did you guys eat together? Um, yeah, as we were younger, yes. And I Absolutely. like my family, and I still like my family, and we still eat together. So you, know, you hear a lot of people these days too, <laughs> as things get busier, trying to like bring things back to the table. So come back on whether it's a Sunday night or a Wednesday night yeah. or whatever night it is. Pick one night that the kids and everybody kind of knows. Okay, it's family night. Absolutely, we're gonna one hang night out. We're gonna talk. And then one night becomes the two. TV off exactly. <laughs> and then or, two nights hey, become three. <laughs> if you don't want to uh, make the whole enchilada sauce yourself, you know she's saying go to the store and buy some. Hire or Rebecca. you can hire me. And I'll come in <laughs> and do it for you. Let her make it for you. Okay. I'll come in and do it for you ahead of time, and all you have to do is pull it out of your refrigerator, put it in the oven, and well, I'm not there. there's a genius idea. Yeah, so I'm not there to be part Although of your family. Although you are very entertaining. I could be She'd part be of the family. She'd be a great asset to the family. <laughs> She's a comedian as well. I could try. So you, see, my bad. sauce is starting to okay. come to a rolling boil, so that's when I would turn it down a little bit. Got it. So now I'm going to go over here, and um, we want me to hand you? we're going to make, we're going to build our enchilada pie. Okay. And it's so easy. It's just like making a lasagna. You're going to take a little bit of the enchilada sauce. So start with that on the bottom. Yep. Okay. Just that helps to keep the, um, the tortillas from sticking. So, and then you're just gonna start to layer up. I'm gonna layer up tortillas, and then I'm gonna put down some chicken. Now, you this can make is this as big as you want it. Absolutely. Just whatever pan size. Absolutely. I like, I have a huge lasagna pan, and it's, I mean, it's literally like three inches deep. Well, I bet this freezes as well. It freezes awesome. So, and you've got dinner for a couple well, days. Well, and who doesn't like leftovers? I mean, I love leftovers. We need leftovers in our house. That's right. Mm -hmm. You can take it to school the next day. That's a good idea. So, and I like to layer this up like um, like a lasagna, but um, you can do it. You know, if you don't want cheese, you can omit the cheese. It doesn't have to have cheese. If you don't want chicken, you can make it all vegetarian by adding a bunch of sautéed vegetables. And the thing I like about this is that you can buy a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store and shred it. You don't even have to cook a That's chicken nice. down. That's nice. So I bought a rotisserie chicken. So you can chicken. make it really easy or you can make it as hard as you want exactly. it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll take... Lots of cheese, Rebecca. Lots I love of the cheese. cheese. I yeah. know. you got to have lots of cheese. I'm a cheese lover. And you, the cool thing is, is that you can also boil a chicken. It's really easy. You just take a whole fryer chicken you buy at the grocery store and, and you boil it. it. You don't even, you just throw the whole thing in there, boil it in some, I put water, maybe a little orange juice if I'm making Mexican. Oh, that's a good idea to put the orange um, juice, yeah. And just, uh, just boil it down. And you really can't over boil a chicken either, which is really cool. That's so good. if you forget that's about it. That's good for somebody like me. Yeah, exactly. You can walk away and come back and oh, oh, that's right, I was boiling chicken. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, and, and then you take it out, you cool it down and you shred it just like I have this shredded. Nice. And, or you buy the rotisserie chicken at the grocery store. Which isn't so cheating, by the way. Tell them it's enhancing. really quick while you're finishing this up, and then we're going to grab out the one, uh, grab the one from the onion, plate it up, show you what it looks like, the finished product. Tell them about your business and how they can, what they can hire you for, whether it's the simplest of meals to the most extravagant. So I do everything from fridge, fridge filling and stocking, so I can come into your house, make a bunch of soups, some casserole type things like a lasagna, enchilada pie, all kinds of things like that. Fridge filling. Fridge filling. That's nice. Yeah, so everything's so in there for the week. Especially if you're on vacation. 
you call, you say, um, you call me ahead, I come in before you even get there. You, you can never even see me if, if we, you know, schedule it right. <laughs> if you but, don't you know, like her, just... I'm not a bad out. gal to have around. I think I'm I pretty entertaining. Say so either. I generally have everybody in the kitchen watching me while I'm cooking. That's so, fun. Yeah. And I like to let people taste things. But if they do want to keep it very intimate and to their family, I don't have, have to be there ready exactly. to go by exactly. the time they get there. Or you can have me come in and create, you know, a five course meal, full sit down, plated. I ha I'll bring a server in and you can make this meal like you're at a restaurant. And um, I come in, I do all the cooking, I do all the cleaning. I leave like I, you never even knew Isn't I was there, except the for your fridge has some extra stuff in it. That's so. kind of nice. That's one of the best things for people who are going to be coming in for ski season as well, um, or have family coming in town, and they're like, oh it's my gosh, how perfect. in the world am I going to cook for everybody, or manage to pay for all these meals? Exactly. Holy, let Rebecca help you out That's and right. have the meals ready to go. All so right. now you're going to pull out your finished enchilada pie, and this is what it's going to look like. Yummy. And Lots of layers. This looks like a hearty meal that's going to get you full, make you happy. And it's something that I feel like uh, this is one of those meals that pretty much everybody, I would go to say, is going to love. I would say this, yes. Right? I think everybody's going to love this. Mm -hmm. And I like to serve it with a nice green salad. Uh -huh. um, I'll put maybe some avocado or some tomato cut up on it okay. with like a nice orangey dressing because I Let's really like the orange dressing. We'll pull this up in front so we can, so we can see uh, the finished product up there. There we go. Perfect. So this is Rebecca Abrams again. She's a personal chef here in the Park City area. If you want to uh, hire her, whether it's for one night you're doing a party or you want your kitchen, your fridge all filled and ready to go for that week of vacation you're going to be here, or you just want some help and maybe some healthy meal ideas or things that your entire family can enjoy because we all know it's, you know, poor mom's been in the kitchen or dad's been in the kitchen and everybody comes home and somebody's like, I don't like this meal. Yeah. I don't like and that. you're running and around all day now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's not tough, like you just right? have a stay at home mom anymore who just stays at home. Yeah. That's, there's no such thing as that anymore. There's no such thing. So We're this is quick and harder. easy. And there's lots of little ways to cheat on this, which I like. Or you can make it from scratch, from start to finish, and really have fun in the kitchen if you really enjoy cooking. Nice. Rebecca's great. She's so entertaining, just like oh, she said. Jen, sometimes everybody. Me. No, I'm serious. She is awesome. She's so fun. You'll see her around town. So if you're looking for somebody entertaining or you just want somebody to stock up your fridge, go to chefrebecca.com. Also, you can get this recipe on her website. Yeah. It's up there, ready to go. Uh, I'm going to make a hint to my mother. And she's watching, hey, mom, make dinner, and I'll come <laughs> hang out with you, right? <laughs> if you make yummy. dinner, I'll come to dinner. I'll work, you make the dinner, and I'll be there. <laughs> so, Rebecca, thanks for coming That's in. Perfect. Uh, we're going to take a short break here on the Mountain Morning Show. We'll be right back after thanks, this. Thanks, Jen. Absolutely.